to Traffic Talks. This is Taylor, and I am the co-owner of Financial Potion. We provide video marketing solutions to business owners. So today, we are talking about what we are currently on, Periscope. Periscope, and how can businesses strategically be using Periscope? Hello, thank you for joining. So Periscope is so cool. Obviously, we love it because we're on it right now. Uh, how can businesses use it strategically, though? Some people may be wondering that. They, they love it, they're on it, they're trying to use it, but not too sure what to do with it. So hello, thank you for welcoming once again. My name is Taylor Luke. I am the co-owner of Financial Potion, where we provide video marketing solutions, and today's traffic talk is about Periscope. So with my Periscopes, you know, I'm broadcasting to you guys every time that I am just in a lot of traffic or I'm driving a good bit and I know where I'm going so I don't need to use my GPS. I could be just mindlessly listening to music. I could be, you know, trying to expand my education, listening to an audible.com or, or listening to a TED Talks. However, instead, I want to be able to provide you some great information to use for your businesses. So today we want to talk a little bit more about Periscope and how we can be using Periscope strategically in our business. Hello, thank you so much. Hello from Russia. How are you doing today? I hope the weather is well over there. I have no idea what your weather is like. <laughs> um, Anyways, uh, Periscope for your business. What should you be doing? Well, make sure that your uh, Periscopes on your profile are set to save the videos. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? First white skin girl on scoop. <laughs> how are you doing? Hi, from South Africa, how are you? I am here in Tempe, Arizona, and we're talking about how businesses can use Periscope strategically in, in their business and their marketing. So whenever you're doing a Periscope, you're going to want to be a little prepared and have some sort of topic. A lot of times it's really great to do a Periscope while you're having an event. So hello, hello. It's a little hard for me to read it all because I am driving. <laughs> um, how are you all doing today? I hope all is well. So whenever you're doing a Periscope, you want to be prepared. You want to have a topic in mind or you want to be doing it during an event. So that way you already know what to say. It's live as we all know. And right now it's just being broadcast. So if I mess up, there's no taking it back, there's no doing a retake. So what you also want to do then is you want to, driving on the left, yes, <laughs> yes. Anyways, what you want to do then is you want to save your videos so that way you can repost them. We know that Facebook is in competition with YouTube and wants to get all those videos onto their site. And so you're going to want to take that Periscope that's saved in your galleries on your phone and then directly upload it to Facebook. So that way it's going to have that autoplay action and it's going to uh, intrigue people to want to watch it because it's going to autoplay while they're scrolling on their wall. And so you would also then want to take that same video and then upload it to your YouTube account so it's saved. As we know, Periscope's only live for 24 hours. And so if you let that 24 hours slip by without you know saving it and capturing that, then it's just gonna go by and you're not gonna be able to use it again. However, if you program it into your profile to save, it will save automatically to your videos and then, or to your phone, It'll, the videos will save automatically to your phone and then you can go ahead, directly upload it to Facebook and directly directly upload it to YouTube. And when you upload it to YouTube, you want to make sure that you do the steps in order to optimize it correctly. That means make sure that you have an annotation on there to, to encourage people to subscribe to your page. Make sure that you have some cards on there that can link to uh, you know, your web page, link to other videos, link to a donations page. Uh, and then make sure that you have the transcriptions correctly. Oh my goodness, I've been doing some YouTube management lately and transcriptions have been insane. I have no idea what's on Google's mind lately, but it's been in the gutter at seems. And so you definitely want to make sure that your transcriptions are corrected or else, you, you know, you might be saying the wrong message. You want to make sure you're saying the right message. So that's another way that you could be using Periscope strategically in order to use those videos for more than just a Periscope post. Now, once you have that video done, you want to make sure you get it off your phone as soon as possible because your phone's going to start getting bogged down. This takes a lot of memory on your phone. This is what I'm doing right now is currently taking a lot of memory on my phone. And so what I'm going to do is once I'm done with this scope is I'm going to share it directly to Twitter. I'm going to share it to Facebook by directly uploading it there. And then I'm going to get it onto my YouTube channel and get it optimized. So that way, if someone wants to look up Periscope and how to strategically use it with their business in hopes this video will get found and so 
I want you guys to, you know, obviously use Periscope strategically for you. You know, you're on Periscope right now. Thank you for joining again to talk, Traffic Talk. And you're on Periscope, so utilize Periscope to the fullest. Watch people, support people. However, also start your own show, start your own channel, start providing content, and make sure you save those scopes. Make sure you save them so that way you can upload them directly to Facebook, and that way you can uh, upload them directly to YouTube and optimize them correctly so that they have potential for being organically found through Google. So, Periscope, we love Periscope, it's awesome, it's such a cool new marketing tool, and the key with marketing tools is finding a way to integrate so they can all work together seamlessly. There's your tip for today. Please go out there, do a Periscope now, and share it, and capture it so you can share it onto your Facebook and to your YouTube channels. So that's going to be it for now for today's Traffic Talk. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time. And hey, if you have questions of your own, if I'm maybe not hitting on topics that you want to hear about, please reach out to me. Reach out to me uh, via Twitter at Financial Potion. You can reach out to me uh, via just my email at taylor at financialpotion.com. Please reach out to me. I'd love to answer any other topics or questions that you may have that I haven't touched on yet. So I look forward to talking to you all more soon. Make it a great day.